Thank you for inviting me to be part of the first ever Spacecom. It's only fitting that this groundbreaking event is taking place in my hometown of Houston, a city that has long led the country and the world in innovation and space exploration. Earlier this year, I had the honor of being selected as the chairman of the Subcommittee on Space, Science, and Competitiveness on the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee. As chairman, I have made it a priority to ensure American leadership in space by producing a stronger and more efficient launch capability for the United States. To further solidify America's leading role in the commercial space sector, I introduced the bipartisan U.S. Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act, which builds upon the work of the Reagan administration and recognizes the vital role that the private sector plays, along with NASA and our international partners. The U.S. Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act extends the regulatory learning period for seven and a half years. The longest such extension in history establishes property rights beyond Earth and throughout the cosmos, which will help a burgeoning industry in which a single asteroid could net trillions of dollars in platinum and defines the term government astronaut in statute to protect government astronauts under the licensing structure for launch vehicles. Additionally, and most relevant to the next discussion, our bill extends the operation and utilization of the International Space Station to 2024, which will provide mission certainty for the Johnson Space Center. And what an exciting year it has been for ISS. On November 2nd, NASA celebrated the 15th anniversary of continuous human habitation aboard the ISS, the world's only microgravity laboratory. Just days before the anniversary, Commander Scott Kelly, who is currently spending a year in space, set a new U.S. flight record by exceeding 215 days in space. Commander Kelly's year-long mission aboard the ISS is a critical step in paving the way for human spaceflight to Mars. On the research side, NASA and our international partners are working on projects that are truly changing the world. Whether it's ISS-inspired technologies that are being used by doctors during surgery, how we study ocean winds to help with weather forecasting, or gaining a better understanding of the effects of microgravity on astronauts as we push towards deep space. The ISS has produced science that has changed our day-to-day -day lives for the better and has helped inspire the next generation of scientists, of engineers, and even a few astronauts. While our past experiences in space have been nothing short of historic, I have no doubt that our best days are still to come and that the men and women of Spacecom will play an invaluable role in turning what were once considered mere dreams into a reality. Every one of us has looked up at the night sky and wondered what lies out there. With America's renowned innovation and the continued desire for space exploration, the opportunities for discovery are limitless. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your passion. And God bless each of you.